going to be talking about the dreaded the M cat. Yes, I said it. We have to talk about it. We have to tackle this exam because either we finish it or it finishes us. And this is how I am going to do it. Stay tuned. When making a plan for the MCAT, I was just looking up and down YouTube for something that would fit my schedule. I took weeks looking at online schedules, looking at schedules um, for other people on YouTube, and I was just like, none of these are going to work for me. So I had to make something that would work for my own schedule. I am using um, the Kaplan books to do content review and I initially started by saying I'm going to finish all seven books um, within, let me even see, what did I even say? It was something stupid. This was my initial plan to conquering this exam and this plan was a lie, like I was just lying to myself. In each book there's 12 chapters um, and so I wanted to do two chapters a day um, for six days. So like juggling all seven books, two chapters a day for six days and then rest on a seventh day. And I quickly with the quickness had to change this because one, I wasn't able to do the two chapters a day, but that was just because this exam is really like a marathon. So at first it'll feel like you can't study that much information and can't gain that much information in such a short amount of time, but eventually you're able to do that. Um, but at first I was scared that I wouldn't be able to do it, so I had to switch up my plan. I'm back to two chapters a day now, but before I was doing like one and a half or like one. I just wasn't strong then, but I'm strong now. Strong. I had to change it because when was I gonna review the information? I think the most important thing that nobody told me was that you need review days. You can't just be studying, doing content review, and not reviewing till you finish the books and go back and review. Because your brain is gonna be like, sorry, what? I took out the Psych Soch and the Cars books from my content review. So I used Bio, um, Biochem, Orgo, GenChem, and Physics books. And I have different resources for Cars and Psych Soch. For a week, I will do two chapters a day from the five books and i'll do that from monday to friday so from monday to friday i'm doing two chapters a day getting through 10 chapters in a week saturdays i leave as my review day so i'll try and wake up early and review everything that i have learned in the past week before i can say okay it's the weekend i'm not forgetting about psych social and cars in the morning every morning i do a cars passage with questions using Jack Weston. Um, Jack Weston is a person is also a company that gives amazing passages with questions and detailed reasons for why you got answers right and wrong. I work in research so I have a job where I'm sitting there most of the time and so I usually listen to a podcast for cars so it basically breaks down how to read cars passages and understand them. So that's how I cover cars and during work I also do psych social by listening to a podcast called the MCAT podcast shout out to AJ for putting me on to this because it's amazing I just listened to it it's a funny podcast and it teaches you a lot about all the subjects but I use it mostly for psych social because that's the one that I can't hit once I leave work I also listen to Khan Academy's um, videos at the end of the day it's about knowing how to take the test rather than the information that you know if you know all the information but you don't know 
how crazy the double AMC is and how they like to word their questions. I've never taken the test before, but um, from prior experience with other classes, like you have to know how to take that professor's test. And a lot of people have told me with the MCAT, you also have to know how to take the test. So content review is extremely important to be able to tackle and think about these questions. What am I using for questions? So for practice questions, I'll be purchasing UWorld in February, like in the middle of February. I'll take my first diagnostic in the middle of February as well, as soon as I finish my content review. I am against taking a diagnostic before content review. No. No, I cannot do it. Why would I sit for eight hours for you to tell me something that I already know? Every day, um, it's gonna be me and MCAT fighting. Whoever wins on May 9th at 8 a.m. will win. We will see. Hopefully, it's me. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have any questions about the resources that I use or my method, please let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.